Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'll call it Phoenix here and welcome to Outbreak Island Pendulum. This is a brand new survival game on Steam. It is free to play at the moment. I believe it's like a prologue short form version of the game. And we're going to check it out today. I've seen no footage of this game. What the hell is that? I've seen no footage of this game. So if I make any silly decisions... I've seen no footage. I'm doing this from scratch. I've purposely avoided any footage of this. Radial menu. To quickly access it, press Q. Or equip the camera. Inventory is I. Create new items in the crafting tab. And J is journal. Cool. Radio. Food. Medicine. Weapons. Weapons? No weapons. Camera. Cool. There's a camera. And now I can't get the camera out of my hand. Use bed to save game. Is this my base? We just start up straight up with a base of operations. Save game. There we go. Explore the base. Use. So we can build a melting work table. What have we got over here? Search. We have wood planks, fabric, screwdriver, and metal scrap. We'll take all of that. Thank you. Let's jump up here. This is going to be ammo. No. Gunpowder, wire, and components. Okay. Uh, where else can we search? Up here. It looks quite nice. I will say that. It does look quite nice. Be it a little bit quiet. Components, canned vegetables, empty bottle, and a full water bottle. Oh, we can pick that up. Metal scrap. Solar panels. Okay, so you, what, you slowly upgrade this stuff over time, huh? That's pretty cool. Go upstairs and have a look at this. What is over here? A regular work table. A storage container. Another box to search. Pistol bullets, tape, components, plastic, and coal. Was that build solar panels? Is that what it wants me to do? Build solar panels to generate electricity. Okay. We gotta go back up here then. Oh, there's one over there as well. Almost out of stamina. Build. Boom! There's one. How do I get up on that one? I'm stuck on nothing, seemingly. I don't know. How's fall damage? Okay, it's not... Not like you fall a foot and just nearly die. That's a good thing. Cool. Cool. Lights activated. Quest added. Craft hammer. I guess I do this in here. Crafting. Hammer. That seems pretty straightforward and easy. Build crafting work table and water station. Ah. Water station's outside. Aha. We need two more wood planks. So I guess we've got to find those around here, maybe. We can find them, I'm not sure. I'm also just going to save the game again. Why not? Does that make time skip five minutes? Is that what that was, then? Yep, it looks like this is where we'll find the wood planks. Lying around the ground, we need one more. One more wood plank. What is this? Greenhouse makes sense. What is this one in here? A cooking work table. Ah, wood plank right there. There we go. Let's go make this water station. Build a crafting work table to craft new items and water station to refill empty water bottles. Sweet. 
Craft water filter and refill empty water bottle. I need a water... F okay, I need to craft that in the workbench, I assume. Water filter. Sweet. And then we go over here and we make the water bottle. Refill the empty water bottle. Done. Craft a metal pipe. And this will be our melee weapon for the start of the game, I guess. So we do this. Boom. Okay. Explore the guard tower. Ah. Okay. Now we're talking. Okay, it, it skips time two minutes. Guard tower's over there. The game is very quiet. Can I... Is that ma max volume? I apologise for it being so quiet. I've turned it up quite a bit. Like, I've nearly got my audio at max. On my mixer. I never ever have to do that with the game. Most of the time I'm turning it down, not turning it up. Got a fair few things around here. I gotta look and see. I don't know what's lootable and what's not. I don't know whether you can break boxes or anything. Mm, anything hiding in there? No. Alright, let's head up to the guard tower. See what's happening with that. I'm not a big fan of the camera shake. I wish I could turn that off. That's um the the head bobble. I don't really like it very much. That looks awesome though, by the way. All the way up. All the way up. Ooh. Medical items. Med kit. And more wire. And a note. This is the command center with an emergency alert. We have been attacked by infected. If you are still at your workplace, you need to immediately go to the nearest bunker. Do not touch anything unusual under any circumstances. All right. Explore the castle ruins. Ooh. Castle, castle, however you want to say it. That's probably going to hurt me if I fall down there. Let's go this way. Ugh, bit of frame rate. Bit of frame rate. I guess it was loading in that area down there. I would assume. That looks like there's a bit going on down there, huh? A few crashed vehicles and stuff. Can we hit trees to get anything? Not with this, you cannot. What else can we craft? Bandages, we can craft wood planks out of wood logs. Sleeping tent... We have skills, not available. Probably not available in this version of the game. Like I said, to my knowledge, this is like a free-to-play version. Um, not the official release of the game. So it's kind of like a, a demo, really. It's more like a demo. There's some barbed wire fences in here. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? This is pretty cool though. What have we got up here? Another first aid kit. And another crate. Shotgun shells and a shotgun. Whoa, Jesus. You can use the camera zoom to enlarge the picture. By default, mouse wheel. You can use night vision to navigate dark areas. By default, F. Only in camera view. Photo evidence. You need to collect all the photo evidence to do this. You need to take pictures similar to those in your journal. Mm-hmm. Let's have a look at our journal then. Okay. So we need to take photos similar to that. Alright. No problem. We can do that. I'm going to head down. We might as well pull the old Camerino out. So we can do that for night vision. Use a photo camera to take picture of the castle ruins. Use the reference image in the journal. So what is it? This, pretty much. Go back further, huh? 
That looks pretty similar, right? Yep. We unlocked a screwdriver and the saw, and we got to explore the industrial area, which is the one that we saw before. We also have a shotgun, which I'm going to make sure it's reloaded. Take the pipe out, we can pick up the mushrooms. There's more things over there that we need to take photos of and stuff that I can see in the distance that I recognise from the journal. It's an interesting concept. Having to take photos. Similar to what you find in your journal. How's my inventory? Yeah. I feel like that's going to fill up real quick. What do we got now? Absolutely nothing. Can we search the cars? Mm. Doesn't really look like it. They kind of just here for aesthetic purposes. Alright, let's go into the industrial zone and see what's going on in here. We're going to fight an infected in here. Is it a crate? Some alcohol and some gunpowder. The metal scrap. Garden soil. Okay, it stacks to ten. I was gonna say I hope it's not individual. No roll or anything like that in this game, it seems. There's a pot. Inventory full. What? There's four spaces. What do you mean? How much is... Mm. I don't want to drop any of this stuff because I don't know what I'm going to need and what I don't need, you know? Is that an empty bottle? That's ah, an actual water bottle, it seems. Bandage. Inventory is full. Eat my butthole, man. Inventory full. It's got plenty of room. Restores has a 50% chance of poisoning. Oh no, I didn't mean to eat it. Yeah, see, so inventory is full. I don't get that. There's clearly spaces in my inventory. How is my inventory full? Now, let's read this quickly. Radio message 2. This is Agent Nelson of Reconnaissance Unit B9 to any soldier in broadcast radius. We need help to investigate a broken airplane near the main military base. There is a possibility that the accident is associated with secret experiments. The pilot could be infected and then he lost his mind and was not able to control the plane. Radio. You can equip the radio from the radio menu. You can scan areas using the radio to find signal transmitters by default right mouse button. Destroy transmitters. To clear the areas, you need to destroy signal transmitters. I don't get how my inventory is full. That is what is confusing me. Find and destroy three signal transmitters. It also seems like it's getting kind of dark outside. I don't know. What is over here? Is this... Oh, it wants me to stand here, I guess, and do that. Aha. Uh -huh. What are we going to do? Some hardcore parkour? Yeah. Well, that worked. There's another one up there. Uh, how do we get to that one? Up off the car. I'm sorry it's so dark, by the way. Um, we could do this, I guess, but... The problem is then we have to keep this... Open. 
There's no gamma option to my knowledge. Okay, I bumped the gamma up on this as well. See if that helps. With the watchability. Alright, now we need to do this. Where's the last one? All the way up there. Alright. Yeah, so I apologise for it being so dark, but... I have put the gamma up, so hopefully that helps at least a little bit. I can't even pick any of this up because my inventory is full. I can barely see a thing. I'm going to have to do this. Just so I can see. I think it's a weight thing. It's causing me to not be able to pick stuff up, but I'm not sure. Let's pull this back out. This bad boy. Oh. Brighter up here, which is strange. Ooh, a wrench. You can use... This tool can help you craft items. Ah. Why? I don't... I don't understand how my inventory is full. Oh, Jesus Christ! Get rid of the signal transmitter! Oh, I guess it's infected time. It's like night time is infected time. Criminy. Now, if we, if we drop this... Can we pick this up now? There's no, like, drop button either. There's just remove, which just, like, just deletes the item straight up. Okay, there we go. And I don't like how he continues to make noise even after he's been killed. He's like, Ugh. Yeah, so is this, like, infected time? So it goes dark, but then it brightens up because you're gonna fight infected, potentially. What the hell? My guy sounded like he was about to vomit. <laughs> what is this game, man? I'm just so confused. What is this? Just a wood log. I guess we probably should maybe go back to base. Not available. And see if we can put some of this stuff away so I can actually pick things up. There's something following me. Hello! Could we not rumble in the jungle? Alright, screw it. Fight me! Let's do it. You had nothing on you. What he sounds like? Sounds like he's vomiting. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. God. Go away. Leave me alone, man. They're like... They're like humans, right? But... They're controlled by, I don't know, the signal jammers or something? If we do this, is there any near us? No. Mass confusion. Can I close this? I can. Why does my guy randomly make that noise? Freaking me out. So what is the saw used for? Help you craft items. Open storage. Yes. Let's do this. Oh my god, I've got to individually click them? That's balls.
That is absolute balls. Mm, scissors, wrench. Vehicle repair kit. Where are you? So that's another storage container. <clears throat> Wood planks, components, you need a saw and a hammer. Also probably just turn this off for now. Melting work table, can be used to melt metal scrap. Wood planks, components, saw and wrench. Why does my guy do that? It's weird, dude. Okay, let's sleep. Oh, yeah, hello? What are you doing in here? Get out of here. Spawn in the base. Christ. Seems to be going a bit far. I thought he was coming back to life then. Oh my god. Yeah, that was ridiculous. He literally spawned next to me. It's just like, I'm just having a nice peaceful sleep and there he is. Ready to mess with me. I don't... I don't know why my guy does that. Okay, should we be able to pick these up now? Yeah. So we got to explore the abandoned warehouse. I nearly said workhouse. You know what I think it is? I think it's when they spawn in. Their audio plays like they're standing next to me when they're not. I think that's what's happening. So I kind of know when one's near me because of that. It's weird. What do you got for me? More shotgun shells? That's nice. Medicine. Water bottle. Yep, one spawned in. That's what it is. 100%. It's when they spawn in near me. That's so weird. It kind of spoils the surprise that there's one near me, doesn't it? Because they go... Hurrah! There he is. See? Like clockwork, huh? Whoa, matches, wood planks, components, wood log. Sniper bullets. Nice. What else does it want me to find in this abandoned warehouse? Canned vegetables and stuff. I can pick up some garden soil. One just spawned in. What does it want me to find, though? Is there something in particular in here? It's probably like a... Probably a note or something, right? In here. That it wants me to find. Hello. How you doing, sir? Hi. His animation didn't even play. What is that bullshit? I just took damage for no reason, like, with no animation. Cotton, wool, and plastic. Oh, God. Okay, this time it's actually full. What is that? Find and destroy one signal transmitter. 
It's on the roof. I can't go through the door. Great. Oh. Oh, it's going to make you build a wood crate. Interesting. So you, that's the only way you can get up there. Aha. Okay. Alright, so we're going to need a saw. I don't think I can make in my inventory. I know I can't. Alright, that's a head back to base thing then. Because we cannot make that on the run. Where are you? There you are. Really ruins the surprise when the audio just plays in your eardrums, no matter where they spawn. <laughs> and what's the point of closing this if they can just spawn inside my base? We'll, oh, vehicle will be available in the next version. Uh -huh. Saw. Oh, we need three metal. One, two, three. Boom. That wasn't loud at all. Saw has been crafted. I apparently need some more water. Some more water. Let's -a go. Where? Where are you now? That's so loud. Oh, what are you going to do now, dickhead? Yeah, you can stay there, moron. It's driving me nuts, that sound. I don't like it at all. Hey, wait, did you teleport out that fence? No, you didn't. It's just a different one. Okay, I got hit by a what? By the invisible animation. Now, do I actually have enough stuff on me to... Uh, make both of these crates. I might not have the wood on me now because I took the I put the wood logs back. That might have been a mistake. Yes, it probably was. Cool. Okay, I just need wood planks, which we make them in here. Okay, we just need some wood logs. Can he hit me? I don't think they can. Oh, they can. Oh my god. Are you good, dude? Is that it? Fucking hell. Oh, we need wood logs. There's some over here. Get more than one. No, you just get one. Where? Go away. I hate how loud it is in my damn ears. Ugh. Alright, that's two. Man, that takes a while, huh? That takes a hell of a long while. And it's weird, it's got no audio for, like, crafting stuff, so it's just silence. It's odd. So these are obviously things that I'd like to see added, like some sounds for when you're crafting and things like that, because otherwise it's just really weird. Hearing nothing. 
And I guess you're also stuck there. Like, if something attacks you while you're stuck in that animation, you're just gonna potentially die, right? Where? There. I hate that. Getting hit as he's falling is doing my head in. So, to the developer, I would say one, maybe make it so the audio for things spawning in is on their location, not in my ears directly. Um, and maybe add a few more sounds for them as well. So it's not just over and over again. What is what is that red? Oh, it's the sun. I was about to say, what is that red light? Okay, let's do this. Perfect. Yeah, it's weird. I'm in the audio. All right, now we can get up here, and we can destroy this. It's very loud. Explore the junkyard area. So we're just going from place to place doing this over and over again, huh? I guess. Is that the idea? We just kind of just bounce around from area to area, destroying these radio transmitters. It's very dark again. So it seems like the transition between them being able to spawn and then daytime is just really dark. Like, I, I can barely see. Metal, wood, wood planks. Explore the junkyard area. You can barely see a thing. Enjoy exploring the junkyard area. In nearly complete darkness. That's fun, right? Not frustrating at all. Oh, that didn't work. Can I jump on top of that? Can I climb the ladder? No, but it seems like I can bug myself up on top of it. Ah! Hup! Hup! Okay. Starting to get a bit of daylight now, so it's not too bad. I'll actually be able to turn the gamma off in a minute. Oop. Beet seeds and sniper bullets. All right, so we've got garden soil. I don't think I don't think I've picked up a single pot yet, though. Now I have. Now we can actually potentially grow the beets if we want to. So the infected only spawn during that time. It seems to be the case. Components. Am I missing anything on this backside here? I guess we're gonna go over there now. Which we could do. Can I just do this and this and jump over here? Yep. Now we'll search over here, see what we can find. There's a fridge. With some vegetables in it, that's nice. Get a canned veg. No canned meat or anything, just veg. This dude's going to have a diet of veg and water. No protein at all. Inventory is too heavy. Mm, that's okay. Uh, what am I missing here that's going to trigger this next objective? I'm not a big fan of needing to get everything in an area to be able to trigger the next thing. It's like forcing me. 
to find a needle in a haystack. Sometimes. I'm a very fat boy. Apparently. Can barely run. See, now I've got to find this, like, thing that I'm missing to loot. So it will trigger the next thing. Which is very annoying. Is it that? Or did I search that already? I feel like I've searched this already. Oh, there's a component there. If it's like that. If it's something like, you need to find this one specific item sitting on the ground somewhere, that's bullshit. It's also raining, which is great. Oh. Hey, my guy's vertical leap's pretty good. I can jump, like, vertical straight on top of a car. Oh, that's closed. Pretty loud. I mean, it's weird that it's pissing rain, but it's blue sky above my head. Throwing me off a little bit. going to turn the game sound down a bit because it's pretty loud. I do not know where else this item could be that I am supposedly missing to trigger the next objective. Okay, that's weird how it does that. It, like... Hmm. The weather system could use some work, too. Is it like these? That's the only thing I can find. I don't see anything else in here. Seems like when you're indoors, it at least masks the sound, which is a nice touch. It's a very nice touch. You know, you one of the canned vegetables. I cannot find anything else to loot that would cause this next thing to trigger. You cannot fit through there. You are too wide. You know what would be cool in a game? If you, when you walk sideways, because technically you're generally thinner sideways than you are, you know, front on, if you could just do that sometimes. Not like a cutscene animation like you usually get, but like actually it's figured out width and stuff, so then you can fit through gaps like that. That'd be cool. I mean, I've explored all this junkyard area. I don't know what else there is that I could potentially find. I've looted everything. To my knowledge. Oh... Yeah, we go, of course. Shit up on the roof. Yep, that'll do it. Craft a campfire. Yeah, righto. Um, we could do that, I guess. Oh, I don't have any matches, because they're at home. Great, I guess I'll waddle my heavy ass all the way back to base. you think the campfire probably would have been crafted a lot sooner than this, right? 
Do I work walk faster backwards than I do forwards? I think I... Mm, nah, I think it's about the same. I was thinking maybe like... Sometimes in games they, they forget the movement for certain directions. So sometimes you can run faster backwards or sideways than what you do forwards when you're encumbered. It's just like buggy like that. But this does not seem to be the case. You can't even sprint when you're walking backwards. No, the second you turn backwards he loses his sprint momentum. Interesting. Alright, let's go make the campfire. Make it at base. And then we'll save. So this is like it's a very nice game. I like I like the aesthetic. I don't like the audio. I think the audio needs a lot of work for different things, different reasons. Mainly one, certain sounds are too quiet and other sounds are too loud. Um really needs like this is too loud. Just a little bit in comparison to some other sounds. But overall, I think it, like the idea is definitely there. It's a solid foundation to build upon for sure. Uh, let's put some of these away, some of these away. That, 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 that. This, this. This, 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 that. That, 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 that. Mm hmm. Cool. All right, let's uh, get the matches out of here. Doesn't matter where I craft the campfire, right? I mean, like, where I place it, I guess, hopefully. Okay, it just wants me to craft a campfire and craft a sleeping tent. We need two fabric and a pair of scissors. We do not have scissors yet. We need... What is scissors recipe? Three components. Oh, that's easy. We can do that right now. We need our fabric. Alphabetical order would have been nice. We'll craft the sleeping tent. Explore the old graveyard. <laughs> Always something else to explore. Alright, well... Anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this first episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Outbreak Island Pendulum in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace!